Okay, we're going to do this set, and I'm going to zoom out slightly, like that slightly, a little bit more, there. Um, okay, anyway, we're going to do this set, hope that's okay, because um, I've got tons of sets now, <laughs> I'm buying more, and I've got like like a huge load of pick-a-brick things uh, to get through, like I've got the fifth one now since the last time I did one, so I've got five pick a brick boxes, uh, packets, uh, all set ready to go, and there's some pretty cool pieces in there. So anyway, we'll do this one though. <laughs> we won't do the exciting thing. We'll do the less exciting thing. This is pretty exciting. It's got turtles. Uh, all turtles is turtles, uh, and a no turtle sign, or so it's <laughs> a turtle surprise sign. Um, so let's do this. <laughs> all the turtles here are very surprised. Hold on. Um, uh, I'm not going to use that one actually. I'm going to use this tool. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, there. I've actually also got some more of. I'm pretty sure I picked up some more of these things. Um, but I can't actually remember. <laughs> I think I did. Um, I didn't buy some Lego today, which is pretty good. Uh, I did go to the shop where they have cheap Lego. Uh, they have. They're slowly decreasing the price of those um, Harry Potter book things. So, but I'm still like, oh, I don't really want to pay that much money <laughs> for them. <laughs> They've got too many stickers in them. I think I've discussed this last time, so I won't discuss it again. This one, I don't think it has any stickers except for these stickers, which are right here. It's a shame that the, uh, the uh, um, alert, turtle alert sticker is a sticker. But that's the way things are. So hold on. Uh, sorry about my hands. I had a gardening accident. So a few days ago, it was a little bit windy, and I've been slowly trying to trim a tree. And then I'm like, oh, it's very windy now. I'll have to go and trim it this minute in the wind. Uh, and it was actually a lot more effective at trimming it than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but I did actually uh, end up hitting my, hitting my hand a couple of times with the hammer, with the hammer, with the saw, which was unfortunate. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm an adult. I know what I'm. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. I'm not supposed to be injuring myself all the time. So I think they both got the same here. These people. Um, there's a new person in this one. That's right. This is why I thought it was interesting. Uh. But not as interesting, I have an Ninjago set coming up, and that's got some pieces I haven't seen before. Uh, it's got Layla, Emma and Layla. So who's Layla? I don't know. This is like another episode of, I don't watch the TV series, so I wouldn't know anything about that. And the TV series only exists to sell toys. So why would I, I'm pretty sure it is. What if it's a really, what if, what if, what if like these friend shows are actually really high quality TV drama and animated form for children and that they're really well received and critic critically acclaimed and I just haven't they have and these are actually slightly different these are actually completely different why do I think they're even remotely the same here uh, well I've given her the wrong here right she's got the slightly brown with the actually I don't think I've ever had this hair mold before so that's quite neat this one of course many a time so we'll just stuff that in there <laughs> By that, I mean her head. So, where's her body gone? Oh, there, there's, there's her body. Uh, what exciting outfits are they wearing today? Well, that's actually quite quite nifty. It's got like a little, her vet thing. Wait a moment. She's, I'm supposed to... Wait, why is she... This doesn't make any sense. This, I mean, I guess maybe it does make sense. No, it, does, it doesn't make sense. I'm going to say why I think this makes no sense. So, she's wearing like... Uh, like a poor thing so she's like doing her animal rescuing uh, out there <laughs> and you can kind of say well sh that's why she's wearing a life jacket um, but then why she got a surfboard like <laughs> she's like you don't actually oh, no, she's got the surfboard so why, why, why has she got the surfboard here um, I don't understand what Emma's up to and why are her legs on backwards well, it's just getting very strange this is the mystery of this place Heart Lake City is a very odd place. So next we have her, and she's already been built because I did that beforehand, as you may have noticed. Now we're going to start with this thing, which is just doing that and just doing this. So two things in one go. 
Next. Uh, what she's at the bottom. What's she doing at the bottom? It's like I feel like I feel like she's like a where's Wally thing, except there's only her and there's nobody else. Wally's not even in the picture. So I don't. And oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. We are gonna. Oh, we need this thing. I was gonna say. I didn't recognize that there was actually a piece there because it's very dark. But that one can go there. Just ignore what I'm babbling about now. We're going to be doing a very slightly similar thing. The back one. <laughs> and that one goes there. I feel like um, if I did, like, I could I could actually, like, go through and, like, open the boxes before I start the video. And then I could have, like, ironed this book out and kept it flat. Um, that might have been a good idea. Uh, I did actually get a library book out a while ago, which I didn't actually read much of. Um, and... Uh, but then I realized I'd left it in a funny place and it kind of got a bit crumpled and it was all like, it was a bit buckled like this. And I'm like, this is a kind of a new book. I felt bad. Um, but I tried to unbuckle it by sort of putting other books on it for a while, but I wanted to take it back to the, the library. So they're going to have to do it. But <laughs> it's like, well, it wasn't my fault. I got it that way. That's, that's what I'm going to tell them uh, if they ask me. <laughs> so... It's not the very first time. It's always why I'm a little bit hesitant of getting out library books because I'm liable to make a mess of them. It's okay to make a mess of your own books. I mean, I used to eat uh, pudding, chocolate pudding for breakfast <laughs> and read a book, as you do. Uh, I've changed my, 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 my eating styles at the moment. Uh, but then I would always be like getting a little bit of chocolate pudding on things <laughs> when you read your books. So it's always like a lot more stressful to get a library book out because uh, there are going to be a very few like little minor pudding stains in some Auckland City library books. And so I apologize to anybody who's had to go, what? It's not very noticeable. It's very easy to clean that stuff off, but there's always like a little trace on the page. <laughs> so, but things are getting... Things are better now. I'm not. I've got. A, I'm reading a library book at the moment, and I am not getting anything on it. It's going. It's going good. So next. Well, I'm not. I don't know. It's not that exciting. It's by um, the guy who made did the wrote the, the what's it World War Z. That's the name of the book. Uh, his other book, another book by him, and it was just on the shelf when I went there. I thought I'll go get a book that I haven't read, um, and that's what I got. These pieces look like they're fluorescent yellow. Wait, what's up with this? Are they actually a different yellow? They seem different. Hold on, I'm going to take these away from... You can't possibly tell. No, it's just a bright... It does seem like a different yellow. I don't understand. It's not the same yellow as the... When I look at that, I think it's that kind of slightly uh, saturated yellow that they sometimes have in these sets. But it's not. It's a different yellow. It looks... Is that is that going to... Sh you can't possibly tell that that's... Like, this is the yellow... This is like standard... This is standard yellow. And this is the slightly different yellow. Uh, and then there's the slightly saturated yellow, which they haven't got here. So it's all a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had this yellow before. I'm going to have to look this up in Brickset and see if this is actually a different, a new color. It does seem like when I'm looking at it, it looks like a, like a fluorescent, um, fluorescent light uh, felt to pen. But it, it, it might just be the light. It's very hard to tell because honestly with several lights pointing at this thing which are all different types it makes everything look very confusing sometimes and then the camera just picks it up as something totally different so but trust me this this feels different but i could be just imagining it uh, but the important thing is that it feels different it's a lot of feelings that matter so next page is the thing at the back which i think i've done something wrong no i haven't done something wrong it's going to go uh hold it the right way around that way. So, looking good. And that's going to have a syringe, a very big scary syringe, which is like twice the size of a turtle. Uh, and then we're going to have a little, well, not twice the size, that's a bit of an exaggeration when you look at the turtles coming up. Oh look, it's a cute little baby turtle. I think it's just worth it just for that, because I don't think I've ever had a baby turtle before. And we're going to be doing the standard Lego um, Bull bars, is that what they're called? Uh, on the front, I've never had a car with these on it. So, um, there we go. Though I really, I mean, if I did, I'd probably be damaging things a lot more because I always 
like to park, I have two cars, one car doesn't move anymore and is, is permanently in my carport and then the other car I park behind which is a small car. Uh, but I like to smack them as close as possible, so I'm quite often <laughs> smashing the front of one car into the back of the other one, uh, which is which is okay. I'm 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 chill with that. But if I had this on the front of the car, it would be uh, not a good thing. I'd probably be like, you know, not park quite as close. But I like to park just um, so that before when I park when the, when the when the car that's already that's permanently there, I used to actually drive. I'd always drive it very very like I'd head up. I'd hit the front of the. Um, at the front of the uh, carport on purpose and it was fine you know it's all good <laughs> but the problem is is that this car doesn't have a, a clutch and it's kind of like a manual but it doesn't it isn't a manual it's like a like a, a an electronic manual so you don't use a clutch if you know what cars how cars work uh, and I'm used to having a clutch and so it's quite easy like I'm used to being able to drive very very slowly with a clutch um, so I don't know if like this is like the worst solution. I think I've discussed this on this channel for a car is to not have not be an automatic and not be a manual, but be something in the middle. Uh, if you want to drive as slow as possible, because <laughs> it's just very hard to get it to drive super slow. Whereas I found it much much easier beforehand. Uh, and of course, the only reason I want to drive very very slow is to make sure that I press one car up against the other car and <laughs> it's a very it's a very uh, unique use case use case I don't think I don't think she'd ever have to do this I actually saw a kid today driving around like the dad had got them uh, I thought it was a bit unsafe <laughs> driving around in a um, like petrol powered uh, like a like a like a like a like a farm quad, but it wasn't. It was sort of like made to look like it was a beach buggy type car. Um, but they were driving it, um, and he was riding a bike. And I was like, well, that's a bit that's a bit more upmarket than the um, uh, electric little car things you get from the that's like all the rage these days. Um, so I've done this, and I don't really know how this is supposed to... Oh, this is the bottom of... Oh, okay. I was like, do I have to build this? But no, I've already built it. Um, and it goes like this. But it was in an area where people... Um, I don't know if this is a trend in other countries, but it's certainly a trend here, where the current the current um, exciting things are to drive dirt bikes around the city without a helmet or probably a license or anything. Uh, and sometimes completely ignore the road rules. <laughs> this area is one where that is a very common thing. Uh, so they're probably just getting the kids young by getting them probably illegal uh, quad bike ATV things <laughs> and giving them to kids. But that's how it goes. Now I'm quite interested in this because this is actually pink. So this is probably the first time I've ever seen pink uh, inside the wheels like that, which is nifty. Uh, when did we put the wheels on the car? I don't remember actually putting the wheels on the car. Did we do that in the previous? Man, I missed the. Comp How could I miss the wheel step? Like of all the steps, it's the wheel ones. I must. I'm sure. I'm sure it doesn't matter. I know how to put the wheels on. I don't need to look at the instructions. But I'm just gonna say. Well, they never. I mean, have I had these in pink? Like the in the the rims for these? Probably not. Um, but that would be cool if we had. Cool indeed. I saw this is like the from the. Apparently those those acorns, the acorn hat, um, are turning out pretty good, like pretty popular. They've got lots of uses. So maybe this is also one of the more popular uh, characters for the acorn and the little um, mushroom things. Could be, um, but I've got my acorn person. They were quite easy to find. They were in fact the very first one I picked up. So. But anyway, we won't talk about that in case I happen to ruin the surprise for the next video. Not that I actually know whether or not I could actually say what I could say that might ruin the next video. Because I can't actually remember if I bought some more. I just know that I think I have. Uh, which means they might be somewhere around. So I just have to wait till they turn up. So we've done that. We've done this. We've put the little, the big, the big turtle into here. So that's a standard size turtle. You may remember this from previous like friends. Um, pet bag things. So I don't know if I've done a video with that one in, in it, but I've definitely bought them <laughs> and constructed them. But now we've got one there. I'm sure I must have had another one on this. I'm sure. Who knows? But I've never had a little baby one. So here's a little baby one. Very 
Very, we should have them like a comparison. They're different colors, but I guess it's normal when they, they change color as they get older. And <laughs> so actually, that's the, I've never seen. Maybe they do look, look this color, but it's hard to tell. So it's a very odd color. Like, I guess it's a normal color. There we go, of Lego bricks. Like, is it kind of red green? So we've done that, and now we've got to build. It's all like one more part. So it's quite a good set for a tiny set. Uh, I almost just built it from looking at the picture because it doesn't look like it's going to be very complicated. And but we better hurry because it wasn't supposed to take this long to do this whole business. Um, that goes whoop, there, <laughs> and this one goes there. I just bought a giant bag of fake Lego, which is just a bit too far away. Uh, to for children, not for me to use. Um, but I have to. I'm going to have to. If I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to have to go over and reach. So at the end of the channel, I'll talk about. It. But it came with lots of castle type bits, like lots of brick. They were all like fake brick bits, and I thought, well, that'd be quite cool because kids can make castles and stuff. Um, but the interesting thing is that there's these fake brick corner pieces in it uh, that. I've never actually seen in Lego, but they'd be maybe I I, I don't know I don't I don't think they're very common anyhow. So I'll I'll show them in a minute. But it was like wow, uh, that's an interesting piece. I feel like there should be another. So this this is this is this is this is the the cracked egg, uh, and they're going to go there, which makes me think I did see I went I did look at some sets today, and they had like um, in the city theme they're like. Lots of animal safari things at the moment, and one of them has got like an egg with an eye on it, like it's about to crack open. Um, they, they fit very well. Like they're obviously being this is this is not designed as an egg. I don't think. I don't think I've ever. It's a very useful piece. Someone whoever came up with this must have been quite chuffed with themselves. They're like, oh, this can make cool flowers, or it could be an egg for a tiny um, animal. So that fits very nicely into there very nicely and then we can turn the page and now we have a sign and I'm not going to put the sticker on um, and ruin your day that's going to go like not like it's going to go like that okay it's going to go like that and then it's going to go over in the corner and I need to move that to the, the correct position that can go there slightly out who cares but we have to do this thing and that one's got to go in there. I think that goes in there. Uh, there's a brown bit. I think I've lost it. I don't have another bit. What? Where is the last bit? Okay, I lost it. It must. Oh, I know where it is. It will be in one of the little plastic bags. And I threw it on the ground. Uh, actually, where did I throw them? I threw them right here. So there's one, it's not in that one, it's not in that one. Gosh, what did I do? Ah, is this another case where I have to go back and check the video footage to see, in fact, whether or not it was actually in the in there and that I flicked it off somewhere? Ah, uh, well that's a bit rude. And then, then right to go to the website and order that one extra piece. Um, and then they say, we need to have proof that you didn't get this. I was like, well, I videotaped it, so how about that? Um, and if you're the person watching right now to confirm, it's like, hi, um, <laughs> I'm not lying. So, but definitely can't seem to find... No, well, there isn't an extra piece, no wonder. Okay, sorry, sorry, Lego. So I thought, like looking at this, that then you were going to put this piece there. This is what you get when you're looking at it upside down. You have no clue what's going on. So I've done everything. There's no extra pieces. It's fine. Uh, let's put a little flower on this thing. And <laughs> let's put another flower on the other one. Uh, a pink one. So that's a good way of getting multiple flowers. And so I'm pretty sure I must have thousands of these flowers by now. If I haven't got them in a pick a brick. And then that just goes in on the side, kind of like that. I think it was meant to go the other way. <laughs> I think it was meant to go like that. Okay. That looks pretty good, I suppose. So that's the beach. That's the beach scene. That's them sitting at the beach. And so we get a whole pile of spare pieces at the end. Look at that. 
That's a lot. Uh, there should be another pink, pink one of those. Uh, wait, what was this thing for? Was this part of the set? It feels like it was. It feels like it's part of the car somehow. Um, but I wouldn't know where. Maybe it's not. So anyway, everything was there. It was all very good. Uh, I've lost one of the characters already. I've lost Layla. Just like that. She'll turn up. Where, she, where can she go? Uh, oh, that's a bit sad. How could I lose Layla? Oh. oh, she's right here. Right, she's in the sunlight. So, and she's got a carton of milk from the other other person. Um, so that was fun. It was enjoyable. Uh, it's got some interesting pieces in it, and uh, an interesting yellow. It even looks it looks different on the picture. Actually, it looks like a different thing. So I feel like it's a different yellow, but it kind of feels like it looks like the yellow that would be on. Um, like fake Lego, <laughs> like it wouldn't be real Lego. But anyway, hold on a second. So I thought like this is the bag. It was huge, right? Huge bag of fake Lego pieces. Um, this actually had a lot more. I've already I've already taken out half of them. But so it came with like little bags like that um, of those pieces and of that size and so these make sense this makes sense but then they've got these ones here which i'm not going to open up um but they're corner pieces and i'm like do they actually have these in the lego world because they would be kind of useful i have to look that up as well but these are all like you know for putting the corners on things and it's like this is another example of the fake people producing the set the, the piece that maybe lego should have done it seems like they haven't copied like, it feels like that's just a straight copy of the mold. But I don't think Lego would do it with that little little notch there. So, not a notch. A little sticky out bit. So who knows. But I just thought that was interesting. That you could get, um, like, that piece. But, yeah, lots of pretty good value, I thought. Anyway, who knows why that was. It was from an opportunity shop, from a thrift store. And it's like, who bought that in the first place? Are they going to make a giant castle thing or something? Or what set did that actually come from? Because it was like, like, there's like three or four of these bags. And there's like two of these bags and a couple of these bags. And then a whole bunch of other pieces. So, and a lot of little bush things. So, weird. But thanks for watching and bye.